On this day, 70 years ago, our legendary troops defied every danger in the invasion of Normandy in World War II. And one 90-year-old veteran in Edmond who fought on D-Day says he recalls every moment and he has the journal to prove it. He spoke to News 9's Heather Hope, who joins us with his story. Heather? Bob Perry served as a navigator inside the nose of a B-17 aircraft the day the Allied forces landed in Normandy. And even though he was only 20 years old, he remembers it like it was yesterday. June 6, 1944. In a 70-year-old scrapbook. Today we awaken at 0030 hours. Former Army Lieutenant Bob Perry recalls every moment of the historic D-Day. Colonel told us that the gas... He recalls waking up early that morning for their general briefing. When we saw what it was and they told us that the, today was the invasion day, uh, we quit grumbling and started paying attention. Perry says he was a part of the best bomb group, the 379th. I couldn't imagine that it would fail because it was just too much planning, too many men, too much heart that went into it. Perry is 90 years old now, but remembers being a scared 20-year-old navigator. Anybody who says he wasn't scared when people are shooting at him is either a liar or a fool or both. There was so much to fear, like the flak flying straight at him. Remember, I'm in the nose. I could see all that, and I'm saying, you want us to go there? His well-decorated bomb group fought bravely, and some paid the ultimate price. Freedom is not free. A lot of uh, fine young men didn't come back, and I saw a lot of my friends die. That makes me uh, think of what we have is worthwhile. Bob Perry has so many memories of his historic D-Day flight, but says his greatest memory is that he survived. Heather Hope, News 9.